What's up guys, Nick here with a brand new unboxing video. Now, I actually intended to have two games going today, but one of them, which is that right here, if it can focus, Fire Emblem Fates Birthright is going to be downloaded directly to my DS because no one around here has it. It's sold out. So I'm like, get a digital, screw it. I got rid of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal because it sucks. The game is not that great. Uh, uh, I didn't like it at all. So I got it, got rid of it, and my SD card's pretty much full, so basically all I can get right now is just hard hard disk, hard copy games. But now, I do have an unboxing video for you today. It's not one intended, there's going to be another one on, t on Tuesday, because I pre-ordered a game in advance. But the game today is going to be Final Fantasy Explorers. I saw reviews of this, I'm like, that game could be pretty cool. Now, I don't know much about it. I know you, there's like you make your own character and you go to different jobs. You can become legendary fighters or legendary uh, Final Fantasy characters on it. I thought that was pretty cool. So let's begin. You got the the regular old, you know, demon in the background, fi some Final Fantasy characters on the front. I think it's just regular old characters. Yeah, it is. Explore a new world. Adventure solo or together with two to four players. Battle together with up to four players. Over 20 jobs to explore and master. Iconic Final Fantasy characters and monsters. Local play. You can play together, like link together, two to four. Uh, or internet, two to four. Which, I've always liked that. They finally, you know, make a game where you can play together other than you like Smash Brothers and all that. Um, <laughs> it's Circle Pad, Circle Pad Pro capable. Meaning, if you have like an original 3DS, you attach this like big thing to it where you use a circle pad. So basically, if you have a 3DS, uh, a new 3DS, then you can use it. Rated E10 E for everyone 10. Alcohol reference, fantasy violence, and mild suggestive themes. Now, I don't have the plastic and everything on. I got their last new copy, so. Oh, well. But, yeah, I did have an intent on doing Fire Emblem Fates, but whatever. Don't bother me if I don't, because I get the game. You know, and I can't I can't do first looks on DS games. I don't have a modded DS, so um, I accidentally dropped it. This game came out this year, and it came out in 2014 in Japan. So let's open it. We have a little tiny booklet, which I guarantee it's just like this: is how you control the characters and stuff. Yeah. Display crystal surge. Oh, if you hold them together. What does R do? Oh, it extends out. R is lock on camera. Okay. How do you move the camera? Huh? I don't know. Touch screen to switch the map. Okay, to tilt the camera, rotate the camera is the D pad. I guess that's what happens. Anyway, it, it gives you a little booklet and all that stuff. Go ahead and take a mini mini look at it. Pause it when you want to, you know, do all that stuff. On the other side, it's basically like warnings and all that stuff. Don't don't care for that. And the game itself, this is the one thing I like about doing DS games, is I get to hold this little tiny card. That's what the game looks like. See if it'll focus. It probably won't. But that's that's pretty much it. Uh, I've heard it's I've, I've heard the combat's pretty decent. You know, it's like. It's, it's not turn-based, it's full-on active fighting. I like Fire Emblem. It's ten, Fire Emblem's like a chess game, basically. You know, I've been playing uh, Awakening a lot lately, so basically just get ready for this one. Because I heard this one was just as good, if not better. But anyway, thank you all for watching this episode. <laughs> this video, not an episode. And I will see you all prob definitely next week for more Let's Plays. So, peace out.